Hello students. So this video we are going to see a pyramid which is sectioned and we need to draw the lateral surface of the truncated solid. So we can see the question. A hexagonal pyramid. It is clearly given. It is a hexagon. A hexagon means it has six sides. You have to be very clear. It has six sides. Our base side is 30 mm and axis side is 60 mm. Is resting on its base on HP so that what is called it is simple vertical position it is sitting with two of the base edges parallel to VP so this also we have to the how position is given how it is resting it is cut by a perpendicular plane perpendicular to plane perpendicular to VP and inclined 30 degree to the HP so the cutting plane the resectioning plane is inclined to HP and bisects the axis. Bisect means whatever. It is cutting the axis half. The total height of the axis is 60. So it is cutting from the base or the top by 30. 6 by 60 by 2. The axis of the pyramid. Draw the lateral surface development of the pyramid. So here we can draw the rough diagram. So that is here first we can draw the xy line. Here it is it as hexagonal pyramid and with base two of the base edges, not edges, not the corner, edges is parallel to VP. So one of these edges here, since this is a hexagon, so here we can draw. So this is one edge and this is two edge, second edge. These two are parallel to VP. We can find the apex point. Now we can join everything. This is axis height. So we can develop the solid like this. So this is a way. Simply we have developed. And you have to take the middle, draw a small horizontal line, take 30 degree to HP. So this is a 30 degree to HP. So here we can name it as 1, 2, 3, 4, again 5, 6. So these are the points. Here also we can uh, give the points. Like this, we can mention it. So here where it will be crossing, so this will be crossing at these points. This will be crossing at these points. Now, here we need to draw the lateral surface development. And now, this is the true length. Here, this is a horizontal line. This is A means, this is O, this is A dash. This O is the horizontal line. Since in the top view, it is a horizontal line. So that the corresponding front view line will be the true length. So this has to be very clear. Since the top view line is a horizontal line the corresponding front view o a dash will be o dash a dash will be that two length so here we need to measure this length and keeping any one of the point here with the same length we need to draw a arc since it is having six sides each side will be 30 mm take a compass 30 mm 30 mm 30 mm 30 mm 30 mm so that you can draw everything like this now since this is a true length so we can draw everything here each length can be drawn at here. Here I have already told the shortest height can be, height can be taken first. A, B, C, D, E, F, G height. Again, A. So this is the way. Next, uh, the shortest height. 1, then 2, then 3, 4. Again, like this, it will be falls on. So this is the way of doing the hexagonal pyramid lateral surface development. So we can go to the problem now. So first, I need to draw the XY line here. So I will draw the XY line, a shortest XY line, because here for a pyramid we don't need the lengthy one like cylinder or a prism. X, Y. This is VP and this is HP. So here will be identifying the parallel line because it is given as a parallel one so here we will be identifying a parallel line so i will be drawing a parallel with the dimensioning of three 30 mm with the dimension of 30 mm now i will take the engineering template So here I can identify with the hexagon. So this is given as 30. So I will take the 30. 
mark at here this wo and one two three one two three one two three one two three so this is the easiest way of marking all the points now i'll be drawing everything here So I can give the name, this is A, B, C, D, E, F, now this is, this will be O, now I can join the perpendicular lines like this, since the total height of the line is 60, so the first 60 mm I have drawn like this, next for each and every point, I will be finding out the base points like this. Now I can also join it by thin line, not a dark one because the top portion here it will be removed. So then only we can easily identify the remaining portion. So initially if you are going to darken it means you cannot do it. So by practice only you will be getting this idea. So next A dash, so this is B dash, C dash, D dash, again E dash, F dash. So like this, it will go up. Next, this is O dash. So now, by the middle, at the middle, you need to make a mark, this is 30 mm. Next, I am just going to draw a small horizontal line. like a small locus now keeping my protractor i can find the 30 degree inclined one so this is a 30 degree inclined inclined one now i will find out the intersecting way so this is a way of doing it next so this part will be remaining and this part will not be that it will be removed now i am going to name it this is one dash two dash three dash again four dash five dash 6 dash. So this is a way of doing it. Next. So this part you can able to darken now. So this is a way of doing it. So this part will be, the bottom one will be remaining. Next. I am just going to identify in the top view also. This is not required, but you need to do. For this problem it is not required. Why this problem is not required it is here we have all the line uh, here we have the perfect horizontal line here. Instead we have not having the perfect horizontal line means we need to draw this uh, top view also. So next look at here how I am going to map this. In between O and A this one is falling right. This in between O and A this one is falling. Now can you able to understand? In between O and B, this 2 is falling, this is 2. Then in between O and C, this 3 is falling, this is 3. And in between O and D, this 4 is falling. Next, in between O and E, this 1, 5. And in between O and F, this 6. So these are the points now. Now you can darken it. So, this part will not be available now.
Right. So the remaining portion top view here, this is a front view portion. Now for this, we need to draw the lateral surface level. I just keep the point at here. This is capital O. Now by using my compass, I'm just going to measure this length because I already told in the top view, this corresponding OA is the horizontal line. So wherever it is horizontal line in the front view, it will be considered as the true length. So now I am just roughly, I am just drawing the arc here in this position. Now where I can start, I can able to start at this point. I can able to start at this point. Now, now I am just connecting these two. Now I am just connecting these two and I can easily measure this length. This is the 30 mm. This is 30 mm here. I can easily measure it. Now I am just making the mark at here, 1, 2, 3, 4, again this is 5. So now we got all the, uh, since this is a hexagon, so uh, here we don't have enough points, so I will mark it at here, so we need a 6 points, six lines here, now I can join all the lines, I can join it by a thin line, so later I can darken it. Now I already told the shortest height, A, A, B, C, D, E, F, again A. So we can see this a curved one, it will be joined together. So this is what. Next, where this is one here, the one is falling in O, A, right, I already told. So all the lines has to be drawn for the, up to the true length. So now, this is 2, 1 dash, this is 3, 1 dash and this is 4, 1 dash. Okay, now I am going to measure everything with respect to the true length value. First, OA. Here in the OA, I am just going to mark and here as well as here, both the sides. So this will be called as 1 and this is also 1. So immediately you can give the name. So otherwise it will get confused. Next, where the 2, 1, 6 are falling, 2, 1, 6 are in between OB and OF. So just get a mark, OB and OF, this 2, OB and here OF, I will mark it. So this is 2 and this is 6. Next, 3, 3 will be following OE and OC, this is OC and this is OE, so this is 3 and here it is 5, now the remaining is 4, 4 is on OD, 4 is on OD, so this is at 4. Now you can join all the lines. So that is very simple. I will be joining it. Now you can join these lines, darken it. Now, since here it is a curved one, so for a pyramid it won't be as a curved at the bottom. So we have to join it by straight line, that is very, very important. So 
So this is the way. So this is the remaining portion will be there. So this is the lateral surface development of a meat. Next. So for this, we need to draw the dimensions. The dimensions are 30, 30 and here so this is 30 and for here it is 60 30 so and also you can write it as the letter surface development and all the words you can write it and here you can write all the dimensions are in amount so this is a way of proceeding deep Thank you.